Hello and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I'll be going through Lightning Data Service Basics, uh, the Trailhead module here. And this is for Aura components. So LDS, Lightning Data Service, is used to load, create and edit or delete records in a component without using Apex. We'll be creating two simple Lightning components, one to display some information about the account and want to edit a certain field on the account, which in this case is account name. As you can see, if I change it and save, the account name has changed. We'll head over to the developer console and see how it's done. Here we have the display component. It implements the flexi page allowing it for record home pages and captures the record ID. Using the force record data tag, saying that I want the full layout, I'm using the record ID captured from the page. I've got an error attribute, should I need it. And these are the fields that I'm going to display. The target fields are going to be held within this attribute. And the mode Next, I use the lightning card tag, and inside I place the title of account record, which is the attribute, and then name, which is giving us this part here for the card. I'm also using the icon, which is the standard account icon. Next, I use a div element with the class of SLDS to give us Salesforce Lightning Design Systems um, styling and I use the Lightning formatted text to display the industry description and formatted phone to display the phone number. I also have an error message should an error occur which is hidden unless there is an error. This component is really simple it only displays UI functionality. Therefore, I have no controller or helper. Moving on to the edit component, which is this second component here. I am using the same attributes. However, they are not connected to the last component. But for ease, I've used the same, if not very similar names. As you see, using the LDS functionality. I use the force record data element, pulling through the very similar, if not the same, fields. This time, as you can see, the mode is edit, because I want to edit, not just view, so I want to use that permission. Here, I'm calling my controller's record update method when an account uh, when an account's data is updated i have a lightning card again with an icon of action edit which gives us the pencil icon these are available through slds and again i'm using slds to style this development this time the lightning element is input allowing me to change the account record name. I render a lightning button with the function of on click to save the record. And again, any error message, should there be any from the lightning data service. Heading over to the controller, we'll see how it handles it. Here we can see how on click the save record method works. We have a variable called record saver which finds the component called record editor. Record editor is defined here in the or ID for this force record data. We call the save method, save record method, and we get the call back. If it's an error, we present an error message. Here you can get a list of errors and we can set them for the record save error 
else, we're setting it to nothing. If the save is an update event, here we're getting the record updated, which we remember from here. We're getting the event parameters using event.getParams. And if it is changed, we are setting the change fields to whatever those change fields are. For peace of mind, we're logging them to the console using JSON stringify and then change fields so we can see what those fields are. And then we will show toast of saved. The record was updated. To see that in action again, you get the toast there. If it was loaded, we would get a, record, a, a console log. If it was removed, we would get a toast of deleted. And here we're firing the toast method. Everything else will show as an error in the console log. These two simple methods, saving and capturing the event to see if it was an update, then showing a toast to show the state of how that happened, Accompanied with the component UI for the edit and a simple component UI for display allows you to see and edit useful information on an account page. Obviously this is a very basic and it is from the trailhead module, but this can now get your mind thinking about what possibilities are out there for bigger, larger, complex business requirements. Thank you for watching and until next time.